Welcome to the Texas Truck Channel. I'm Brian and this is the 2020 Chevy Silverado. It is robust as hell. It's a four-door for families and it starts at $64,000 with four-wheel drive. Four-door for families? Yeah. For, you want to bring a family in this thing? What are you doing here? Uh, you know, I figured I'd crash the party. Hey guys, Corey from GT Garage Talk. Look, you're the GM guy. You should be happy about this. I, this you is know, a this... reliable, safe family hauler, and it has safety seatbelts. Your kids won't forget it because they're orange. Yeah, but dude, this thing is bigger than my house. What's, like, what, wait, what's wrong I, with that? I don't that? even what's know the... if I can see the ground from here. Well, that's okay. <laughs> you just go over the obstacles. It's fine. So this is the 5500 chassis, which means it's a solid axle in the front and in the rear, leaf springs front and back. And this is actually Massive. what they build dump trucks on. Pretty cool. Uh, we're here at the Houston Auto Show. I'm glad this thing exists. Let's um, let's skip the interior. We've all seen this. Let's take a walk around and check out some of its features. Okay, one more thing, Corey, that we can't miss is that it is certified clean idle, which well, means you can drive this in California. I know. You want this to be a fuel efficient, you know, sure. green vehicle for the masses, right? Are you? You make a joke out of this? This is a good thing. No. All right, this is powered by the, what, 6.6 .6 Duramax? Yeah, yeah. Let's we'll see if we can open this thing. Let's, oh, let's see, maybe get it. I don't know get we, on the other side. Heave, Brian, heave. One, two. I'm heaving. Is your latch even open? They've actually got it latched. <laughs> it's latched on the side. It's mechanically latched. Oh, I've got a strap okay. on it. Anyways, it has a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax, similar to what is found in the Three quarter ton and half ton Chevys. And which we've liked that motor. It's been a good engine. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, look at how much weight and mass it has to carry around with which it. Which means it can tow and haul more. Again, I'm seeing these are pluses. We are, this is Texas. We like trucks. This is beautiful. What are you talking about? How, where are you parking this thing? Wherever you want. <laughs> Check this out, side steps. We talk about power side rails. You don't need it. It's tall enough. Yeah. It's just already high enough. It works. Oh my we've got tow mirrors. Yeah. Coming in and out, extendable. Well, you folding. need them to be able to see all around you in this thing. Yeah, sure, I'm fine with that. You have a long range fuel tank over here. And you've got a PTO over here for uh, additional power. I'm not sure what that's even for, but I'm glad it's here. <laughs> yeah, put it right next to the fuel. No problem. Okay, let's keep moving around. <laughs> Back to the bed options. This happens to be a state body. And this is a, you can buy this as a chassis cab with nothing on it, or you can add this to the side. So this would be helpful for delivery of, well, anything. If you work for, I don't know, Menards, farm store you can handle hay with this you can handle lumber whatever you want to do all right i'm starting to see the appeal okay it's a house it is a it's house. a mobile home like yep. you just build whatever you want back here overlanding it's fresh overlanding start spec. it's four right wheel drive there. okay i'm starting to see it you're you're painting a good picture for me stylish black wheels i mean come uh, on yeah oh, mm, it's a win-win yeah. let's come around the back can we talk about tow bar <laughs> look at this thing <laughs> Speaking of a house, exactly. You can pull a house. With and by the way, that's not a two-inch receiver. That's bigger than a two-inch receiver. I don't know what it is, but it's huge. That's my take, Corey. What do you think of this thing? Again, it's a house on wheels. I, I would love to see all the different options that people could figure. Endless. You, you mentioned overlanding. Endless. You've got me thinking. I mean, look, here's the deal: sixty-four thousand dollars, and guess what? The last Duramax half ton we drove was sixty-six thousand dollars. So honestly, it's a bargain. Hmm. Hope to see these in the school pickup line soon. Thanks for <laughs> watching the Texas Truck Channel. Follow Corey at GT Garage Talk. Thanks for joining us today, Corey. It's been a blast. Yep. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Wait, is it okay. actually a Silverado? Is it really? Oh my God, they call it a Silverado. Yep. <laughs>